people. Welcome to the um, reading in which I check what's up with Taurus and their person. I already got um, your energy, their energy and the mutual energy from the sacred geometry cards. Your energy is the rainbow DNA. This is an amazing energy of um, re, let's see, reactivating. Um, potentials in our DNA that was not reactivated before. This is about ascension, this is about awakening, whatever it is for you. And in this case I'm feeling it's more being getting down to earth. Yes, being spiritual awakened, but um, being connected to the universe and also rooted in earth, because the mutual energy you have is the Gaia grid. Okay. And you being a fixed earth sign, it's it's really coming back to earth, but with a new, wow, but with a new, um, with just a new, you know, um, perception, dimension, living, everything will be new. What I said wow about is, I see two stars here, and in your person's energy there are also two stars, so they're bringing their, their beauty, their gifts as well in this connection. And their energy, I'm really getting more, um, you know, like a Saturn energy. It's this dodecahedron, um, almost like the world card. Um, they are just drawing conclusions and um, a cycle is ending, a new cycle is beginning and taking what's absolutely necessary with them and bringing it to this connection, into the Gaia grid. Uh, absolutely beautiful. I love this energy so far. Let's ask the Queen of uh, the Moon Oracle cards what the energies, what's the supporting energies, what's Taurus's energy please, what's this rainbow DNA, it's Taurus, ooh, okay this is upside down, I put it back, focus, okay whatever you are doing focus on that, your healing, Okay, meditation comes through, um, third eye opening, this rainbow DNA activation. In whatever form it is for you, as I said, it might also be in a more advanced situation where you're spiritually awakened already, but now you're coming back to earth, down to earth. Or if it's your, if you're in the beginning, then it will, it will look different for you where um, you're just really being spiritually awakened for the first time or whatever time. Um, but the connection between you and your person will be the Gaia grid, will be coming back to earth, sensual pleasures. We have the Garden of Delights at the bottom of the deck, of, uh, of this deck, Garden of Delights. These are all your energy tours, um, sensual pleasures, being happy about this incarnation, being happy on earth. Um, but of course not in a way where we used to be that, you know, only material, okay, material girls and boys, whatever, this is no longer, and now uh, it's a beautiful comp um, compromise integration, integration of all energies, okay, no longer blocked in our spirituality, but loving the earth, Gaia grid as well, let's see what's clarification for your person, what's the Dodeca Hedron for Taurus person? Or I'm just gonna ask what's Taurus's person's energy, please. There you go, change. Yeah. At the bottom again, the abundance. It's just really beautiful energy. Really beautiful energy. Change, yeah, I mean, um, it's compliments that me seeing the world card here, damn take. I mean, you see all what I have just saw, seen here, you see in this card, okay? It's called Thunder Moon. They're taking whatever is absolutely necessary Oh my god, they are both the same numbers. 35, 35, 8, 8. Just saying. Lionsgate. Um, wow, this is absolutely stunning. So yeah, they've been taking um, whatever is absolutely necessary and going for the new cycle. There is a leap of faith. But it's a leap of faith not it's an, you know, there is no other choice than a leap of faith in <laughs> a situation. It's not like, oh, should I take a leap of faith or not? But they are just doing it already. Let's ask what's connecting you. What's this guy agree? 
again the pleasure at the bottom I mean come on the bottom of the decks are all, all, all just complimenting themselves all the time purity look at that so Gaia grid and purity okay yeah, so here we see also this uh, awakening of yours, opening of the eyes, okay. Being very earthy in that, look at that. Being very earthy. Enjoying the earth together. Purity. Small pleasures, you know, finding joy in small details of what earth has to offer to us. This doesn't have to be on the top of the hugest mountain. It can be, okay? Just go whatever you can do to enjoy the earth. But also just your backyard, your next park, your next uh, nature reserve, whatever it is. There is the full moon. We have, the, it's called the snow moon, uh, but it's a full moon. And this is also where, like the Dodakadrahan of theirs, where everything is shined upon. Um, secrets coming to service, everything that doesn't serve going away, starting to go away, being intended to go away, and everything that belongs coming together. And there is a huge sense of freeing, independence, emancipation, energy. Absolutely gorgeous. Abso I love it. I love this energy. I mean, look at that. Okay, do I even need to go to Tara? I'm gonna go to the Spirit Song Tarot for this. These arrived a couple of days ago and I wasn't ripple shuffling them because when they're so new you cannot, but now I already am doing it. Okay. Alright, lovely Spirit Song Tarot. What's Taurus's energy? One card please. God. Whoa. The chariot, yeah, discipline, determination. Okay, this rhino is going forward. The rhino is also almost like Taurus energy, heavy, uh, rooted, grounded, going forward, almost to this person, but going forward to this person is going forward to yourself and to the Gaia, to the earth. Whew. To what you are already undistorted okay we have the queen of crystals coming in the re reversed position comfort prosperity it's almost like this comfort and prosperity more becoming more rooted you see more um, inner almost like the physical and the spiritual is one here which it is we know but it's that high dimensional perception that you're experiencing wow okay so spirituality is not just about neptune and um, stars which it is also about that but also about this physical life we're living this is very all everything is very spiritual cleaning the bathroom floor is very spiritual going on a walk is very spiritual you are about to experience that and just acknowledge that as well. What's your person's energy? What's Taurus's person's energy, please? There you go. Ace of Acorns. I love it. Um, so this is Ace of Wands. One would agree. Okay. Creative force and confidence. Yeah. So we see the Aries here. Okay. Perhaps this is an Aries for some of you, but not going to be for all of you. Mm, there is a new beginning energy going with them. Of course, we see one is ending and out of this worldly thing will come the oops, new sprouts. Something new. And they are ready to go in the same direction with you. You know, I'm not gonna lie that I'm also seeing that them breaking apart from you for some of you. For the ones who they're not breaking apart from you, it's really you both closing a chapter and going forward together. But not gonna lie, I'm seeing for some of you that this person wants to leave. So 
you know how to find me for a personal reading. Now, let's see what's your ritual energy here. But either way, you are all both on the way to your absolute happiness and divine plan. So, chill, okay? What's the mutual energy of Taurus and their person? Wow, what's that? That came out so dancing. Um, Knight of Feathers action and focus. So you will need to... Wow. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there will be honest conversations. <laughs> This is like second second story coming, I have to be honest. Are you a little secretive, Taurus? Okay, anyway, we touched on the beautiful services, everything, but now um, the Knight of Feathers is here to tell me that you are about to have a really deep conversation. We don't know if this person is going away or one chapter is ending between you and a new chapter is starting, together or apart, but it's gonna be different for every one of you, so check your own intuition for what message you want to take. However, let's see. Um, Knight of Feathers, could you please tell me what this is about? Yeah, what's this topic? What are they gonna talk about, discuss about? Taurus and their person, make it clear, please. Ooh, the Traveler, here you go. Wow, Ace of Feathers at the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, this is the Ace of Acorns energy. I'm seeing the Traveler, the Fool. Okay, Adventure Potential. One more. Two of Acorns, Insight and Focus. Two of Crystals, Balance and Adaptability. So, oh yeah, okay, so... Um, Maybe the somebody has been. Uh, maybe somebody had been foolish. Maybe there was a cheating, or maybe it's a poly thing. Okay. So these are real topics that you want to go through. Okay, I see that somebody, or even even if action did not happen, there is a potential of um, another person, and that's what you're gonna talk about. And, you know, it can be solved. It can really be solved, Taurus. I have to tell you that. So, um, we are really um, used to just breaking away when we think it doesn't work or we, it's uncomfortable for us. Um, now is the time where this is shifting as well, where we repair things, where we mend things. So, really ask your own intuition if it's worth fighting for this person. If it's worth the lesson, if it's worth the struggle, which no relationship is without any of that, okay? And, um, but sometimes people think it's not worth it, and sometimes people go for it and fight for it because they believe it's worth it. So it's really unique for all, all of you, but you will see. So I'm gonna pull out some Angel Prayers Oracle cards for you. Let's see where the miracle comes in. Let's see what's the message from the angels. So. What's the message from the angels for Taurus and their person, please? There we go. Earth Angel! You kidding me? I mean, it's so earthy and beautiful. Thank you, angels, for inspiring me to be more like you. Again, that DNA um, activation. Again, that light worker embodiment. Okay, no longer that ego-based I mean, you need your ego if it's a survival situation, but life is not a survival situation, Taurus. Life is about thriving and having joy as well. So, if it's like 
so close it's a survive of course you need your ego but under normal under um, comfortable circumstances ego should not be the leading source and um, let's start with the earth angel lady venus wow downloads and understandings yes that's what's happening here with you with them too but i think they're experiencing something else in their lives which um which may be more difficult for them to tap into it you know they're experiencing more tangible things changing i think and you are more comfortable and just really going through the spiritual awakening downloads and understanding truth is being revealed deep insights are coming from heaven and the ast astral realm really trust that trust that faith seems to be a key topic here okay and the last two cards change your vi oh no clear your vibes archangel metatron very powerful energy thank you metatron for clearing my energy field so work with archangel metatron if you feel called to and wow two archangels to end the reading beautiful speak your truth archangel gabriel thank you gabriel for helping me to speak with integrity Speaking with integrity is being authentic and true to yourself and speaking from there. Integrity also means also making sure that the harmony and balance is there. Yes, you will need to embody some sort of King of Swords or Queen of Swords energy when need be, when you need to cut things out when you need to speak the truth because it's hurting too much okay but um, with integrity is also coming back to the knowing that it's all for the healing and growth of all so nothing is just bullshit that happened um, that didn't need to happen everything has its unique and perfect role in this world okay so being um, really being comforted by that belief and knowing. So thank you Taurus for letting me into your energies. Until next time, do be gentle and mindful with yourselves and all those around you. Bye.